we're back. You're listening to Cooler Than I Look podcast. Wait. Is that right? Is that right? Hold on, let's start Dude, let's go. Let's go. Full and we're back. You're listening Yo, what's to your, American what's your Wannabes shameless podcast. Shameless plug. We're listening to American <laughs> Wannabes podcast. Let's get those intros in order. First, we have. What up, Jerry G from HP? We here. Then we have. It's just a poet in the building. And I Which, by the way. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Did you do I'm Christian Zerg. Goes AK, Chrissy Picks on your local social media and networks. networks. Which, by the way, I hope you guys are all listening to the whole entire American Wannabes universe. Are you guys keeping up with your shit or what? Yeah. I, I, I know that. I get the message like, where's Jesus at? Where's fucking Christian and Jesus at? goes for a good run and then he goes away like me. Like we get our little spurts and then we go away and then we come I back. Always, I always said, look, man, the only reason I'm still keep going is because my I keep my shit as basic as fuck. It's simple. I'll do oh, it no, my we know. Phone. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's why. Good. That's what keeps it going because all that production, I can't deal with. I can't deal with that. Yeah. Well, you also got a guy. You just send it so it's easy. No, it's not. I, not saying I, I that. That's, that's I, dope I, that I you have a, a guy. I got a man. I got a man. That's good. You have a producer. Hey, you got yeah. this. This was legit. I'm no, trying to pro, do no. My producer literally. They gotta download it to the fucking app because I can't. I can't even do that, fool. Like I just. That's what I'm saying. I do the voice memo on my phone and I text it. You know so what Jerry's good at? Guy. Jerry's good at having guys to be like, yo, I'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. You need, whatever. Because I, I yeah, do it. Do yeah, it. because I'm okay. a kind I, I, fool, person. There's no one that's willing to like, hey, fool, I'm fucking. Let me help you out. No one. Everybody's just, but this one has people. I'll drive you. I'll drive uh, if you want me to drive you. All right, drive me. Drive yeah, me. I got a guy. Jerry's because like, I'm, a, got a guy. I'm yeah. nice to people. You gotta be nice to people. You gotta appreciate people. You gotta Jerry be. leaves tickets at the window. Oh, leave you tickets at the window. That's what it is. He oh. has day ones that he takes care of. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, because of me, it, no way I can't be with someone that. Yeah, like, someone, yeah, 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 for sure. I get very irritated and I'll just speak my mind. I'll be like, well, what no, the you fuck couldn't you handle. I just handled. handled Four days of Raul Reyes. Oh, oh yeah, she, my God. Well, Before we get into that whole story, can oh we? Uh, can you guys hold up your gift that oh, I brought so, you guys today? So, so fucking Christian brought it. us this gift that's like blowing up on the internet. New sponsor. No? No. no, no I just brought sponsor. you guys gifts. Not, not, not official. Official. Yeah, let's try this. Fuck it. It's a hot Cheeto not, Mountain Dew. It won't be a sponsor after I drink this shit because this shit looks like garbage, bro. So what, what is it, Christian? It's a Mountain Dew Hot Cheeto. I've been looking for this shit for like a year and we finally got yeah. it at work so i brought it and i was like these fools try it okay try it ready we're gonna try it. it i'm gonna try it ready and it's not horrible it's not <laughs> it's not horrible it tastes like cactus cooler yeah it tastes like cactus cooler that's a good point take another a big gulp a and you point. can feel the spice going down your throat and that's it that's the hot cheeto of it yeah cactus cooler would be it you feel that like going down your throat the spice i'm gonna take a real real gulp yeah take a real gulp. cactus cooler is ready to record this shit ready kill it that's the sound bite right there. Oh, I like that. Swish it, squish it. All right, what do you think? <coughs> yeah, it has a kick, huh? It has a little kick. <coughs> no mind my way. Uh, it could be a little it's bit like more whatever, sugary. Right? Yeah. Mm. It's the spice going down your throat that's the flaming hot. It tastes like Mountain Dew. I'll give you that. It has the Mountain Dew taste. You're like at first the first like sensation of like when you get like the, the gas and the sweetness to it, Mountain Dew right off the bat, and then it starts the Mountain Dew taste f- fizzles out, and you're like, What's is, this it <laughs> yeah. "Is this bitter? Like, is this like is this flat? <clears throat> like it, 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 where it the, where flat. where did the Mountain Dew like where's the rest of it? The, like the last you know the feeling aftertaste, the aftertaste the after where's that the aftertaste just changes, um. And if this is flat, like flat Mountain Dew, and then it gets to like a little bit of you feel spiciness. That in your throat? So yeah, you get like a little spicy. Like it, it feels like somebody fucked with you. Like you left and you came back, and somebody put like put like, like chili in it, and, 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 and you taste it. You're like, huh? Yeah, you feel that in your throat. I can still feel like the like a kick, like uh, a spiciness. But I don't like that shit. I, 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 we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm telling you, it tastes like Mountain Dew, and then it goes away. And like, like, you don't like it? Thumbs down. No, for it's you? fine. It's fine. This is fine. I mean, I could drink one. And Not shit. fine. I can't drink the whole thing. I mean, I I wouldn't feel like, what the fuck? It's more like, oh, it tastes like soda. I can see that. Cactus Cooler. It definitely has Cactus, the ca- hot Cheeto color. Cactus Cooler like, is like, uh, like see? rolling over his grave right now, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying I'm fucking It back. tastes like a, yeah, like a fireball. Mm-hmm. Cactus Cooler fire, fireball. The Cactus yeah. Cooler shot with a fireball in it. Mm-hmm. That's what it tastes like to me. Oh, that would be a, actually bomb with fucking the, with the a fireball. fireball. A, shire, yeah. a shot of fire, fireball. Yeah, man. But um, 
Yeah. Anyways, Raul Reyes. Like, oh, yeah. Talk about spiciness. Nah, Raul Reyes is something else, bro. I talked about him on my, my podcast too, and he's something else, fool. He, this guy's an unbelievable person. Per- per- he's coming around to accepting that he may be autistic. How about that? You know why? Because it's cool to be autistic now, right? Because he's like, wait, maybe I am autistic. Uh, Elon Musk is autistic. So and so is autistic. So and so is like, I, you can't be autistic. Now because it's cool, you dick. You can't even man. say autistic. You can't, you can't, you can't relax, fool. Like, in, in 2018, I was calling you autistic. Jesus called you. And what'd you say? You fucking got so mad, dog. But now, like, maybe I am autistic. Shut the fuck up, fool. The fact that you're driving around with a grown-ass man saying, I think I'm autistic. <laughs> and you're letting him drive you? <laughs> it's scary to me. I would be like, dude, pull the fuck over. You're getting away from me. You do not fucking oh, run anything God, from me. Dude. Oh, God, dude. Oh, the day we did the show, that night that we did the show, people were asking, uh, Raul's here? Yeah, they were Remember? tripping out. Oh, this Southgate? is Raul? In Southgate? Yeah, yeah we did it. They out. were like, this is Raul? Like, five fools were like, uh, wanted to meet Raul outside. And he was like, oh, shit. He's, he's the real <laughs> deal, fool. David I got Lo- clout. David Lopez is a big fan of the American wannabes. He was there uh, in Arizona, and he met him, and he was, just, he was tripping out, too. Like, wow, this guy's a real fucking character, dog. He's a real it's person. a real fucking... Uh, this is really him. man. What did I, he do? I don't even know where to start with Raul. Made you pay for so many, just so many places to start with that guy, fool. He's so many places, fool. He wanted you to open up for him. He, he's and that look, guy. Like I told him, I'm gonna land at three. Yeah. Pick right. me up at three. He shows up at. 10. I land at three. Who's calling me at three? Raul. Where are you where at? Are you at? <laughs> I'm in the plane. We yeah. just landed. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for being here, fool. I appreciate. It. I'll be out as soon as I can. Cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm at the Lotus. They may, they make me, they may make me move. So hurry up! Of course, I, there's nothing I can do. You're in a fucking plane. I'm like, all right, cool. Five minutes later, where you at, dude? I'm still in the plane, fool. Like the, the we just they got here. They made me move, <laughs> dude. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm not driving the plane, dick. Fuck. And he's like, oh, well, hurry up, man. This, uh, okay, yes. And then he's like, did you check a bag in? Yeah, I, check, I got mer- I got merch. Oh, I got checked the bag. Oh fuck, man. That's gonna throw. Oh my god, that's it. That's it. I gotta. I'm, they're gonna move me. They're gonna move me, man. I'm like, all right. They do come Go around. Yeah, <laughs> don't whack around, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, but he's like, I don't know why he has to stress me out where there's nothing I can do. Why fool. are you even there so early? Like, sure. I'm at three fifteen. Anyways, fool. I finally get out there, fool. Yeah, uh, yeah dog. It, it, yeah, tiene hambre, güey. Hambre, yeah. Waiting for me to eat, dog. Like, waiting for me. Like, you can't, you couldn't eat before I get here, dog. You have to wait for me to eat. Uh, of course, I have to ba- go buy him food. Yes. He can't decide what he wants, fool. We, like, uh, I mean, he's picking you up. Jimmy, no, fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm going to buy lunch, fool, but uh, I got to eat. I got to eat right now. I got to eat right now. Like, at the airport? Right? Like, we got like, to, that's at it. At the airport? Yeah, that's I'm the next just step. Like, that's oh, the next it's step. just everything is just a, like such a <clears throat> intensity with him, fool. Like, just like. I thought you guys drove. No, I oh, flew into probably... Arizona. Then we drove from I did Tempe, Phoenix, and then Lake Havasu. So he took me all the way to Lake Havasu. Fuck, uh, that's cool. That was nice of him. He got a speeding ticket and everything. No, he actually <laughs> didn't get a speeding ticket. You know what they did? A couple. There's a ticket. I don't know. If they have that in California. <laughs> There's like I don't know. If they have this in California, but in Arizona, the cop was nice. Where he was going like 75 in a 55. Yeah, it's not criminal. Right. So it's like, but anyway, yeah. the cop was like, "Yo, I got you for speeding, but you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna give you." Wasting gas ticket. Wasting gas. gas. So it's basically ticket. acelerando way. That's a ticket. It's a, he goes, it's a much smaller ticket. It's not a speeding ticket. It he won't be on your record. T- it won't be a point. It won't be none of that. Which I never heard of this. Have you never heard of that? Wasting gas well, ticket. They give it to people who have autism. <laughs> they're driving. They're let me know. Let me know. Hey, know hey, he has a sticker on let his me help me. Like, the way that he broke it down. <laughs> this is... Not a regular ticket, so don't yeah, yeah. go don't crazy. Don't go alarm. Don't and, go alarm. And don't, 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 don't flip the car. Don't flip the car. Relax. Relax. We're here. We're here. All right. Give him a good. Oh, yeah. Gary had to give him like a sucker. It's a little ticket. Bro. Bro. Relax. Another dumb thing he did, fool. I go, fucking Raul, wait. Dog, he gives him his registration and insurance fool, right? And that guy looks at it and he gives it back to him. <laughs> he gives it back to Raul and he goes, oh, by the way, the registration is, th- this was expired. I have a different one. This is expired. After you already give him back oh. the insurance, he goes, oh, it's expired. Let me see. Let me oh, see that. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to need you to show me the updated one. <laughs> like a, like on, on your app or something. Do you have an app or something? He goes, oh, 
uh, yeah, yeah, I have a nap. I have a nap. Like, why would you fucking tell him that? Like that? Oh, I'm like, why? This is Jerry. This is Jerry Garcia right here. Um, I'm gonna be uh, we're doing around. a show. Oh yeah, he did say that. We're doing a show. He told Garcia? the cop that. Yeah, he did say that. He, goes, he told the cop. We got a show. This and that. Like, we're comedians. Show, like, we're comedians. We don't know the rules around here. We're from out of town. Can you have show us around? Just, Can you escort us? Actually, yeah, he would drive me fucking nuts, dude. Because he just can't. asks the same question over <coughs> and over. What time are we gonna get that? Yeah, club? Uh, uh, everything's no, about like, giving him advice about his career. Like, what do I do for this? What can I do? No, no. I'm trying to do this. Here's the thing. I'm doing this, and like, I don't give a fuck. No, no, wait. The show's at nine. The Friday show's at nine. What bro? do you think about this joke? <laughs> the, sh- the Friday show's at nine, bro. Oh, and I've man. been with this fool all day. I go, hey, fool, just go home, go have dinner. Vete a la casa, wey. Déjame descansar un ratito, wey. I just want to take a nap, take a shower, fool. It does like a three or four, right? I go, fool, just go home and come pick, pick, to show that nine. Pick me up at 8.30, fool. We'll be there by 8.45, yeah. fool. And he's like, Zero okay, seven. okay, that's a good, yeah, that's a good. You want to rest, huh? You're tired of me? You tired of me? No, fool, I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, I'm just tired. <laughs> yes, Just leave. tired, fool. I just want to take a nap, dog, this and that. Okay, okay, I'll be back. 8.30, okay, 8.30. 7.30, fool. I'm here. I go, you're here? Why are you here? It's 7.30, 8.30. I just, I just want to be here. I'm bored in my house, like... I was like, oh, fuck, God. fool. When I saw the lineup that he had, I was like, ooh. I, could, I, just, I just had flashbacks. I remember these things that he goes through. How I don't understand you know how he <laughs> always goes through this. I'm like, man, this will put himself in these situations. And I'm like, oh, God. All for a ride. You could just All pay for Uber. a ride. Yeah. You could have just like, paid for I just say, like, you, you get what you pay for. Yeah. And I didn't pay on shit. Yeah. And that's so. how bad this dog is. Dude, well, he wants me to break down his set, dude. Every time, not it's not just he asks once. But you're not. He even asks in the set. morning and breakfast. Mm. He asks in lunch. He asks when we're putting gas. He asks when we're going to shop, dude. So how do I do? How did I do last night? No, for, for real. How did I do last night? You said uh, earlier that you said I did good. What do you What do you mean by that? Like how How come I did good? Where What did you like about my set? I think I'm getting really good, right? Like I I, I think, I think I'm, I'm really good. It. I think I'm getting really strong, Jerry. So. I think I'm ready. I'm ready. Like I, I think I'm ready to be on the road all the time, full time. Like, but where you tell me, Jerry, where did I do good? What joke? Can you put the jokes in order? Like, which one do you like first, second, third? Bro, what does he mean sorry, by on the road? Not, like, I'm ready to go on the road. And I do like, like oh, ahorita no, we espera rato. Pregunta me rato, we. Right now, that's fool. your problem. You tell me. Yeah. Uh, hey, fool, tell me because uh, I don't want to talk about it. Hey, fool, ahorita no, we. <laughs> yeah, but just tell him no. Talk. Twenty minutes later, fool. So uh, you want to talk about my set already? You want? I want to go like. And, and the thing is that I do talk to him at the show. I set? told him, I tell him, because he's not, I'm not even just trying to say this to be nice, fool. He's actually getting a little bit better, fool. Stage present, I win. jokes. Really? Yes. He's like, basically, crazy. what he's doing no, good no, no. now. Don't, hold on, hold on. I'll tell no, you I'll tell this. I'll stop you right there. I'll say it right there. Energy. Energy. Confidence. Jerry, Jerry has been uh, fucking hyping up a couple of people lately. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, he's, no, no, don't, don't, I, that's. That's false. <laughs> I do not believe the fucking. He's did it pretty good. Do not take what he said seriously. Are you he's talking still, about me? I question what he's saying. He's I'm still like, oh, miles God. away, but what I did tell him, I go, you know what I liked about you this time, fool, is that you didn't you didn't stutter, you didn't stumble, <laughs> you didn't you didn't you fucking attack the you attacked the stage, bro. Con confianza, way. I've lost this. You told them your jokes. You told them your days. Even when they didn't work, you like got loud and gotten good, like. You didn't turn on the crowd because he turns on the crowd. When he's when a joke doesn't do good, then you start attacking the crowd. Look at this guy with his big head. Oh, this guy with his big head. It's okay. I got a big head too. I could say that. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> look at this couple. Oh, they're not happy. They're not happy. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you don't like it's me. Okay. I know you're oh, happy. He's that guy, but he's not doing. You don't like you don't like me, but it's okay because you're not my type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're he ugly. Said, he says I shit like that. Yes, he says that. Yeah, he literally said said that. She like that. It's, it's like, yo, why she, don't, you? she don't like me. She don't like me, but it's I okay. Like, uh, uh, she's not my type. No, 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 I'm not saying she's not my type. What do you want me to do? You want me to put? I'm like, bro, oh, shut the fuck no, up. But this time he stuck to the jokes, kept it going. Yeah, it's all good. Eight minutes is a little I'm telling sweet you, spot. Jerry, when Eight you minutes put, is a sweet spot. You post your flyers, just fucking rename it to the Bomb Squad. <laughs> the suicide Squad? The suicide Squad. The Bomb Squad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, man. Fucking um. Yeah, but it's Raul, dog. That's Raul. That's fucking Raul. I so he's driving down do there it. next week. He's coming back, yeah. So he he wanted to drive me back to Cali, but I said, Ooh. no, wait, no, wait, go see go see your mom, fool. Like it's Mother's Day, dog. Go visit. Well, you how'd you get back? <laughs> <laughs> how'd you get back? Uh, Johnny Sanchez, dog. Mm, Johnny Sanchez. Okay, Johnny Sanchez is awesome to hang out mm. with. It's fucking dope ass fool, dog. 
complete mm. opposite. Complete opposite. Of oh him. yes, oh. yin and yang. Oh my god. He dude. doesn't want me yeah, to give yeah, him yeah. advice. He doesn't want food. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't want advice. Doesn't want food. I don't. Yeah. Is that how I am? No. No. I, I mean, no, I can talk wait. a lot sometimes, but no. I don't know. No. I, don't, I feel like I I know where where my place is, or I know when I'm being annoying. Maybe not most of the time, but I, can, I mean like, that's the thing. Like, it's hard to describe it for it, but it really it's is. No self awareness. Like, it's like right? being with a little kid. It's honestly, it's like being with a little kid or like with your chick. Like all the reasons I don't want to take my chick on the road is the reasons that I I live with. I live that with with Raul, hungry, bored, wants to do things, talking all the time. Like, it's like, dog, this is why I don't bring my chick out, fool. Like, I don't want to have to be buying you. her lunch all the time. Do you ever stop and think maybe you're not fun? And I'm just like. I'm and I like, can't even fuck you. I, I just, exactly. I just want to be in the hotel. Like, I just want to be in a hotel. I just want to watch TV and chill in the hotel. Like, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm like, fool, no way. I'm good, fool. But then you, you are pretty, like, lazy and not fun. It's 100 degrees out there, fool. What is there to do out there, dog? When we went to Texas, yeah, to it's like, I'll see you before the show. Peace. And it was, I was fine when with I that. When I took my chick to Texas, we had fun. We were like going all over the place. There's moments and times with that. But, but I know what you mean. Yes. Anyway. Sometimes you just want to just be in work zone. You're you don't in a wanna happy be in relationship. That's you don't want to be in fun zone all the time. No, I get that. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want to be in fun zone. Because when feel, you're in a fa- happy relationship working. like me and you, then you want to do those you. things. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking shit, fool, but, but I'm not. Oh, no, <laughs> but, I, but I'm not. Raul sucks. It's constructive. But I'm not. I want people to see it for themselves. I think I think we should do like Patreon people to come out and experience Raul for like a day. Because <laughs> David Lopez is a big fan of ours. Yeah, he could. He experienced some. He went to go eat. Uh, they he was hanging out with us. David Lopez was hanging out with us, and he was hungry. I wasn't. You know, I was chilling, dog. And and he was hungry. Uh, let's go eat, fool. Let's go eat. I go, fool. We just ate, dog. I'm good, dog. I'm good. It's good. And then you asked David, "Hey, you, you want to eat?" And they was like, "Uh, sure." He's like, hey, David, fool, I don't follow way. Yeah, what the way? Take him, fool. Like, go. Just leave, fool. And then they, I told him, fool, go like, like two hours at least, way, yeah. at least. He was and he took him. He took, he took him for like two hours. He told me, like, they went, we just went to drive around. We went, like, just fucking bought beer and shit, went to go eat. And just, I'm like, fool, thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Because this guy right here, fool, from the moment you wake up, and he lives in Phoenix, fool, right? Yeah. Pero a huevo. Quiere dormir conmigo en el cuarto en el hotel, way. A huevo, way. Yeah. I'm like, why? He goes, did you get two beds? Why Why did I get two beds? You live here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would I, why would I give two beds? I, I want to I wanna spend, oh, spend a night here. I want to just, you know, it's easier so I don't have to be driving back and forth. Just, what's wrong with me just spending a night with you, man? Damn. <laughs> Damn. So I'm like, spending the night with fuck, you. Fuck. I just want to be around you. Exactly. I go, I, I guess. He did. I, I guess. I, I, I did. I did. I asked for two beds. Br- there you go. Then, I asked for two go. beds. That's where I'm the asshole. And I got to upgrade. And I got to upgrade. I got to pay $25 more. See, but that's how I, I'm, I'm the like, asshole. Because I would tell him like, nah, dude, get the fuck out of here. No. No. And he's like, oh, man, well, Jerry will. I don't give a fuck what Jerry would do. Hey, if not, Jerry, get the hell out of here. Oh, and he's just dude, and you're fool. As soon as he wakes up, bro, like, yeah, I'm pissed because of my mind. Like, just that. What are we gonna eat? What do you want? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like a child. I like a little kid, fool. Literally, like a man child. So why do you do it? <laughs> I's good people, dog. With all that, with all that shit I talk, <laughs> with all the shit that I talk, the motherfucker has a good heart. He's good company. He helps me. I like him. I mean, like, we, I, we, I, yeah, we exactly. all that shit. He sets up my merch. Man, man, dog, come on, who else is gonna drive me to Lake Havasu from Phoenix, dog? That's three and a half hour drive. Who else is gonna do that, fool? Who? A guy who wants a guest spot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uh, you know, shit like that. And I appreciate him. I tell him all the time. You have to talk to him like a fucking delicate flower, bro. Porque, you know, you can't like just sneak up behind him or touch his head or like make eye contact. He's very autistic, fool. You have to be very sensitive about how you use your words around him, fool. Like, you know, like he gets hurt. Say, he gets sad real quick, you know? Like when I start telling him like the bad things about his head, oh my goodness. <gasps> but... That, that bad? That's a bad thing. That bad? Like, I'm, oh, that, that, 80% of us. Yeah, yeah. That, that the jokes still need a lot of work. I don't know. Is he still doing um, 4 2 four? That's the, thing, the, thing, that's the, the thing is, like, when, when that's it was. A, that's a good one, though. <laughs> no, when it comes to stand up, dude, like, when, in the beginning, like, you don't want to, like, be mean to a comic because they're starting out and you get that. Yeah. Like, oh, I understand. Just work on just work on the stage version. Work on this. Work on that. But then after a while, it's just like. Yeah, well, it's been two years of you with this. Like. Five years, to be exact, with that fool. But, uh, but we met that me, fool in 2017. With, but with me, why I stopped hanging out? Because I'm just like, yeah, well, it's two years. If you don't get it in two years, if you haven't advanced to like the stage president in two years, 
there's nothing I can do. And it's like, I didn't come here to work on you. I'm here to work on myself. Yeah. Like I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure things out and I can only tell you what can help you at this level. And you're not even paying attention to that. Like I can't stop and like he doesn't take the I, advice. It's like either. it's like having a toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. It's like I can grow with you if I if I'm not growing myself. I, we have to like split up. You have to go figure it out on your own. That's like, where it gets uh, uh that's definitely. Where that's where it gets intense with that fool because you're right, fool. Like, fool. Like I'm worried about ticket sales. I'm worried about my set. I'm worried about shit. I gotta get done. And he's on my head. Like, can you help me with this joke? Uh, how how are your sales going? Ooh, it's not. That's not good. Oh, what are you going to do about it? Oh, how wow. are you going to get... Oh, man, Jerry, how are you, you going to be okay? I'm like, Fu's already stressing me out. Like, Fu, we'll be all right. We're going to be the nerd Jerry, there's no one there's here There's walk-ups. like, yeah, like, oh, my God. And uh, it's just like... It just doesn't make things easier. It never yeah, makes things yeah, easier. Why are they stressing me out? He, he has no, no filters here. like a child. He has no Sorry. filters. So, there's Fu... There's no one here, Jerry. Why did they book you? Hey, your joke didn't work. Like, bitch... Your whole set didn't yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was rough, man. What he happened? Said that, he said that one time when I was doing a set, and then like one joke didn't hit, and he's like, "Hey, uh, it didn't work, huh? Your joke didn't work. It's just I don't know what's going on with you today. It just didn't work." I'm like, "Your whole, your whole life is not working." <laughs> like, whoa. okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that, was, that was me. That was me. That is something you say. Yeah. What did you tell uh, him when he said that? Is that what you said? No, I, I just, I, I, I just, I just, I mean, I'm a mean guy. I'm a mean guy, and uh. Yeah, we just, you know. That was I when space. I decided to. You yeah, that's when I was like, you know, I think it's best if I just, like, don't answer the phone Cut calls. You off. Yeah. Yeah, he thinks you're mad. Yeah, and this motherfucker, like, no, what I got mad at the fa- I'm not mad at him, but it, what, I just, I don't care to help because I'm just like, I'm over helping. That's it. That's Jerry's job. Let him worry about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? What I pissed me off is that he comes to the fucking room and he's, like, knocking food. And I'm like, la verga, wait, I thought something happened. I thought Jerry was in trouble. Like, first thing is, like, sometimes <laughs> if, if he knocks, like, hey, fool, something happened. Like, hey, can you, you fuck get it? startled. Like, you like, get like, startled. Like, 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 man shit. Hey, fool, what do I do? How do I turn off the stove? Like, oh, fuck, I'll burn it down. There's something like, if there's a fire, fool, help or something. Fool, like, fucking, or like, you know. My kids are here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put soap on my back. I'm going to shower. Like, okay. It's the things that he needs help with. Both baby's mamas yeah. are here at the same time. <laughs> Ameros. Perros is on yeah, Univision yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, Just started. He <laughs> told Mata Come on. on. Let's watch it together again. So I was like, fuck, I opened the door for him. Like, what the fuck? He said, hey, what's up, fool? You wanted to say hi. <laughs> I looked at his fucking face. I was fucking sleeping, dude. I was tired. And I looked at his fucking face. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And I shut the door on him. And I fucking went back to bed. It pissed me off so much. I was so tired. Wait, I was fucking up all night. And then the fucking like. Get a few hours of sleep and this little fucker's looking at me at like night. Okay, I get it. He didn't know I was still asleep and I had a, a long night. But still, bro, like the way he knocked loud and I fucking get up and I look and I see his fucking little, uh, like he was looking at where he was at and then I see this face and I was like, I'm like what? I was like, he's like, oh, hey, what's up? Just cute to say hi. I'm like, you cute to say hi? You Shut the door, fool. That's it. I couldn't take it, dog. Fuck that. I went back to sleep. He startled you, woke you up. And then he was mad. And he was like, He was mad? I think he's mad at me. (laughs) I am! (laughs) Leave my fucking room. But anyways, (laughs) that's just one thing that he does. One of the things that he does. Nah, I talk shit and all, but yeah, I still, I care for the dude. Like, whatever, right? I, I care for him. He calls me randomly, and I'm always like, all right, let's go do something. And then he'll be like, oh, no, I can't, this and that. And it's always like, come on, fool, well, hit me up when you do. And then he won't. He'll just hit me up randomly again, like, where are you been? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, if you're in town, come on, let's go do a spot or something. That's been Christian lately. I'll be like, yo, you want to do this? Oh, here's the thing. I can't because. All right. That's, a, that's a, the new Christian that goes in. No, it's not that. It's just like, fuck, I got, I got, a, I, I got, I got kids. No, it's just that I've been working a lot and it's hard to get time off right now. It's super hard because I'm trying to move up, yeah. but I'm like over it now. Right, didn't like, you say somebody that. moved up already ahead of you that was newer? Uh, but I'm trying it's, to make I'm, I'm trying to yeah, make no, you. Yeah, no, no, no. But what, I guess, what, but what did he I'm, do? I'm trying to make you move up and stand up. Yeah, that's what I. Though that's what I'm saying. Like he's I gotta make like, a choice, uh, but more about with the like, kid. Oh, I gotta move up at this job right now, and it's like no, it's because the the, yeah. the baby was on the is on the way, so it's well, I don't know what to do to be honest. I want to do more, and I'm trying to do more comedy, but then it's just like. I got to work also, and then I got to pick up the other my other child. And it's just like, it's hard to be a good parent and also try to be better at uh, comedy. Because you got to like, in order to be better at comedy, I got to like not be as good at home and like get in fights. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah, a yeah, very yeah. like fine line that you're like trying to 
do. And it's no, like, I want to quit the fucking job and just... Well, perfect example say, of that... Fuck it. Well, a perfect example of that is like, look at this guy. This guy has three kids. Divorced, though. Divo- no, no, with no wife, but like... But the no wife is a lot of time that he has free now. Mm, not really. He's always with his kids. And he's like, literally, like, I never see him without... I never see him without his kids. Like, if I'll get... I'll see him one day. He says, weekends off? I'm like, I've never seen you with a weekend off without the kids. And if he is off, he's he's touring. Road, yeah. So I never see him without... He always has his fucking kids. Mm-hmm. So I never get that. So he's always with his kids. And he, and he you know, does a bunch of shit in the daytime. He's working and stuff. So it's like, he's doing the same thing. No, he's not doing the same thing. He's not doing the same thing. He's not working 50 hours. Um, closing, working every single day with one day off. No, but I'm he's saying not, like, and he's not. No, no, no like, but, but uh, yeah. what I'm saying is like he's making. No, stand-up. I'm saying he's, he's, he's making stand up a priority. Like he's doing yeah. stand up. Stand up is a I'm priority, saying. and he has his kids. Yeah. So it's like if you can make it a priority too. You just you know what I mean. I mean, I get it. It's, just some it's a team effort, about. fool. It takes a lot of buying from your wife, of course. It it's does, hard. and it's just, uh, uh, it's just, it's just working out a schedule, a routine. Uh, it's rigorous no, because as you're, fuck. you're right. I know you're right. I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just like hard um, giving everything like uh, the hundred percent that you want to, but because you, you can't. But like, I want to um, be able to work and provide and be there for, like, be there for her, be there for my kids, and be there there. And then also, you have to like say, okay, I can't because I got this show, I got this, that, this, and there's always like a thousand things that I got to do. So every week, I gotta like upset someone or ups- upset something. In order yeah. to get that that week done, the shit of that week done, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every week I got to. At least you've changed your shift, though, right? You don't. You're not working at nights anymore. I, I only work one There's day. No, you can do comedy. You're today. working at night. No, I only work nights one day, which is today, and that's only because I'm helping out. But normally I don't work at that's night bad. at all. I mean, that's something. So that's why I'm able to do something. it. But then, like, it's hard to go out of town now because now I gotta like yeah, yeah. not work for three days or two days in order to do one show, and it's like fuck. And I want to. I want to just not, but it, then it's like the baby's coming, all this shit. It's fucking, yeah, yeah. it's stressful. But yeah, yeah. yeah it's, uh, I want to just, I want to just quit or work half the time that I do and just do uh, devote it to comedy. And I know it'll work, but it's also scary to like. Mm-hmm. It's a gamble. It's a gamble, but I know it's it'll pay gamble. off. I know it will, but I can't because I, I can't afford to lose. And then I'm like, well, maybe if I just quit my job and work like Uber and do whatever I can, it's gonna force me. Yeah, but it's not like I got a mortgage already. Cause I'll, we're tell you, I'll tell you it, this. I'll like, tell you this. It's, it's hard. You to, did it, and I know it's hard to drop. You did yeah, it. it's hard to drop everything when you have your kids and stuff, and like, and not saying that you are, but like, if like if you're doing okay, it's hard to be like I'm gonna drop everything to because I'm an okay comic, you know. What I mean? But if you're like a killer and you're like, and you feel like you know what, you would feel more confident to be like, yeah, this is wasting my time. I'm good at this. I'm I'm killing. It's like I'm getting an audience. I'm like. I can see this becoming my thing. I think I'm just going to like quit because not saying that I was a, a killer, but when I was working at Coca-Cola, which was like a secure job, I felt like, yeah, but like I'm doing great at these, at these shows. I'm doing okay. Like I felt confident enough to be like, yeah, I'm going to stop this and give this a hundred percent. Actually not having a kids and family help too. You know, I didn't feel so pressured. Like, I don't know. I think that through. I can get, if I, that's the, what I want to do to like try to get to that place where I'm, where I know, yeah. and I feel like what's what's stopping me right now is that that insecurity of like, right? What if I'm not, or what if I don't? But I know I could be there, because I'm not, because I'm not even putting in the time now, and I'm doing a lot better just with the little more time that I am putting into it. Yeah. So yeah, if I just true. actually put down the time and like actually sit down and write and become like more scared, that's the thing. I'm fucking li- like, yeah. yeah, I do all this stuff, but I'm lazy. Because when you when I do when you post that you're on stage, like people don't know that like you're actually working. You're at work and you left for a break, right? You're yeah. On break, you're going on and doing a show. And then when you're off break, you go back to work, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. pretty crazy when I see that. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker's like. Well, I am trying, dude. Like, like, it's just so fucking hard, dude. Like, honestly. Last time I saw him, he was in his work clothes. Well, I'm like, this motherfucker just put on a shirt. And I'm like, so that's his work boots on. And he's well, going up. Like, I respect going to do that. A like, show, that's just fucking. I'm going to do a show from work yeah. where I don't even go home. It's just, it's fucking hard, dude. Because I am working 50 hours. Yeah. And why? Then, why you? Why you need to work so much? Though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's why? Why not forty? Why not yeah. thirty six? Thirty four? Honestly, it's because the the position it's my that wife. I put myself <laughs> into. No, because <laughs> the position it. that I just put myself into. Yeah, yeah. lifestyle. Like, there's no one. The position that I. No, no, no. The the job. The the spot that I took at my job, it requires that much hours. And right now, there's no one that's like uh, below me that can like fill that void when I'm gone. 
So I just do it. And like, honestly, I don't want to look bad or like, mm. I'm just like that mentality of like, if I call off or if I do this, I'm going to look bad. And like, I look at these kids that just call off for no reason. I'm like, <laughs> why can't I be like that? That's that don't get, and I'm just like going in there sick, putting up with shit. All oh, they schedule me when I'm not supposed to be there. I'm like, well, I guess I got to go. And I'm just like, you're responsible. Yeah. You're responsible. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's you're good, responsible, man. Yeah. It's good. It's good. That you're responsible. You're also but even Crystal's like, you can't fucking get one week enough. You can't tell him that you can't tell. And then she's right. And, and I just. And then you get the week off and you leave on the road. I want to yeah. go with Jerry. <laughs> no. Go, go That's ahead, what I'm I'll saying. Get... Like, I can't start doing weekends and do that job. Like, I have to get out of there. Okay. Uh, what's your so, guy? Yeah, I, got a, I got a question. Okay. Here we go. So you said when you were at Coke. Yes. You Ooh. already knew you were. That's a responsible job, whatever. But right. At the same time, like, there was a moment in your life that you're like, fuck it, I need to pursue this. Uh -huh. So my question is for both of you guys, you two, Jerry, like, when was it that one time that you're like, I got to leave my nine to five to pursue this? Like, and what was the situation? Yeah. What was that? the situation or what was the moment when you knew that, like, I got to strive and maybe you can talk to chris like maybe when you see this mm. that's when you know you got to go this way mm. that's that, my question to you guys and i do think that he's getting there uh what with me was what when i was with jerry when we we're like doing stand-up and like we started opening up for comics or a comedian mm -hmm. and stuff we were on the road and we started seeing that like that i started seeing that it's like oh man like i'm getting to the next level where he's about to leave Featuring for this comic and I'm about to jump into the featured spot. So then I did that and then Jerry started headlining some some rooms or he started going on the road a little mm -hmm. bit. He started taking it to the next step. Mm -hmm. So I took over the feature spot and I started traveling and then I had to call off and stuff like that. So it was interacting with work. Yeah. And I'm at that, that that stage where you're like, uh, I'm giving my time for two things, two things, two, two things. And then I started realizing like, hey, you know what? I'm about to leave this feature era and get to here. He's at where I'm, I'm gaining an audience. And I'm about to start doing my own shows and stuff. And I was just like, all right, I need this is a perfect time for me to leave because I'm already looking back at our work. They're already mad at me. They're looking at me like if you don't show an effort, we're about to leave you. So I'm like, yeah, well, you know what? I don't when when they would call me into the office and they would talk to me about things that I'm doing wrong. And then they're like, you need to show more effort. I'm looking at them like this is when I knew I was like, I'm, I'm out because I'm not. And you're right. I'm not going to waste your time because I'm not I'm not here. I've never wanted to be here. This is just temporary. This job wants all of my time. And I'm like, I'm never going to give you that. I want to give that to that. So it's time for me to move on to that. And when I did choose that, I chose with the risk of like, this is going to pay my bills in the first couple of years. Mm -hmm. I even told you, like, can you can you wait a couple of weeks for me to pay you? And then he was just oh, fool, Come on, because I'm paying you with gigs. And I was getting gigs and I was doing little day jobs and stuff. And it was hard, but. I had to like, if you never jump in the water and just be like, yeah. you know what, this is how it's going to be. And I'm going to learn how to swim. Then, then you're never going to know. You're never going to you know risk it. But I would recommend when you start seeing that every time you go up, you're killing so hard that people think you're a headliner. That's when it's time for you to like take more in charge of your career. Like be like, fuck this job. I need to focus on my career and find a game plan to like, you know, Strategize a game plan I to like make money a, off yeah, of stand up. Make up a plan, like make a like a. a stupid well, what you should do, what you like should be doing, what, I, what you should be doing, goals are. what you should be doing is get a killer thirty minutes, a killer thirty minutes that's like killing all the time. Make money off of those thirty minutes, and then like whatever money you're getting from stand up, take away time from work. Be like, I don't need to work the fifty hours. I can work thirty because yeah. I'm making that money up with mm -hmm. stand up. And until you see like, hey, if I yeah, just do full time stand up and make what I'm making with my 50 hours of work, then I don't need this job. So now it's like, fuck this job, and I'm getting yeah. your game well, paid through stand-up. That's what I did you with my job. I went from full-time yeah. to part-time. I've to seen Not that. just seasonal, not just to sometimes. Like, whenever, I just hit me up when you guys need me, fool. Like, don't bother me unless it's like an event that you guys need me to fucking work with you guys with. But other than that, I'm good, fool. Like, thank you for, thank you for, no thank you. Seeing kind of you guys, though, like it's very do you have two headliners here that can take you on the road no, fool? I'm saying, seeing you guys like what you guys are doing like from where you guys came from and seeing the growth it's very like it really pushes me and it like damn it's possible yeah it's scary but like seeing you guys it's like very inspiring and i'm like I, i'm proud of both of you guys yeah, it's not about quitting right your job it's just about yeah. making no, more time for this it's just not about making more time for comedy fools like and your job is getting in the way so we got to figure out a way how your job is not gonna get in the way 
Like with me, it was my job was like, all right, full. I can't do full time. No, no gracias. Like I want to do just six hours, and then I'll be. I went down to four and a half hours, and then it was just like no weekends. And I told them I don't want to do weekends, dude. I'm good. So I like, shit like that, like telling them, fool. I would tell them, like, well, and if they don't like it, but yeah, ni modo. Yeah. Yeah. They let you go. At least you know that they let I'm you gonna go. go. Yeah. No, yeah. after the in the next like month or so, I'm going. I already told them, and I'm going down to like I need two days off a week for sure. And then after that, I want to go to like three days off or like at least just working to like four every day and then going. But that's what I'm doing now. Every time, just the last like two months got kind of fucking shitty because people quit and all that shit. Say, but, but I was getting off at five and I was getting up every night. Like from when we were like when we did the thing, I was, I was getting up. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is like, what I'm trying to say is like, yo, like don't even have to be careful with going there because the last thing is what you want to do is like go there and like you're s- still struggling with stand up. Like, Get to a point in yeah, stand up yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's like it's beast mode every fucking time. Mm-hmm. To where even your family, your wife is like, "Yo, yeah. you need to do this." My yeah, family hit me up. My friends will hit me up and be like, "Bro, how are you not doing this?" Yeah. That's the confidence that you need to be like. You know what? You're right. I think I'm ready to yeah. do this. You're getting it. If you're not hearing that from your friends and your family, to be like, even your wife should be like, "You know what? I believe that this is." Maybe she doesn't see like, yeah, you, you do okay. Like, maybe she needs to see like, you fucking are beast mode well, every no, she time. She tells me, do what you want. And it's like, bro, yeah. like, how is she not gonna be like, yo, fucking do this? She shit. She actually little, tells me, yeah. do what you want. Like, she's she, if I want to do more, do it. She tells me, just do it. Like, I don't know why yeah. what's taking you so t- so long. And a lot of it was I was scared. You told her you. Nah, I no, no, no. Because <laughs> she's always shit. like, do, do yeah. it. And it's just mainly my job and both. Because yeah. if it was just her. It wouldn't. It'd be fine, but it's the job that's like fucking shit up now. Yeah, I mean, so. take him to a show and be like, "This is what I do." Mm-hmm. Christian, whatever hour you need, let me know. <laughs> uh, now nah, I would just uh, figure out like again. My advice is just get a strong thirty and then make money off of that and strong thirty there. and then just start yeah. start. He's, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a strong, I can do thirty, but I got that's a strong. I would like, do. I'd say the strongest of it is like eighteen to twenty minutes, but I got like ten new minutes that I've been like working on to. Cut in there, and then hopefully it can become a yeah, yeah, yeah. good thirty. Because I got some good new. Sh- the new stuff is actually hitting harder than the old stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, a, a lot of people that like are are, are are hearing this good podcast, they, they they're in a position like that with their jobs too. That they're just like fuck. Like maybe you feel a little distracted. Maybe you're like getting in trouble or where some of you that are like distracted from work because you there's something else that you want and you're like ah oh, fuck and you like. You got to go with the what makes you feel happy and you got to figure out if you figure out what makes you feel happy and you're making money off of that, then I say go for it. Like there's some people that hear us that do jobs like shirts and they do like signs, you know, what I mean, things like that, that that help us like design logos and shit. I mean, they have day jobs. Like if you find something that you like and you see like you're getting like a good attention and people are like paying and telling you, complimenting you off of that. I say go for it. I say fucking go all the way. You only live once. Fucking go for it. You know, you know, a lot of people. Yeah, go ahead, Augie. Jerry, um, when you started comedy, you were still married, right? Yeah. yeah. And when you took that transition of like going full hardcore. Yeah. What was your conversation with your wife? Damn, you sound like I'm at there fucking, was none. You sound like I'm <laughs> at <laughs> court right now, fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the do you mean? Uh, uh, what was we, were, we were already broken up when, when I went hard. Yeah, I was, I was working full time still when I was with her. Throughout our marriage, our, our marriage fell but apart. But when you were going to stand up shows, mm-hmm. what was that like? It was like, oh, uh, I've said this many times. Like, uh, she was more of a, she was supportive, of course. She was uh, more of like, get it out of your system, too. You guys don't understand that. This is all I also would talk about. And it's all uh, people, like, I, I didn't start comedy until I was 29. And I emphasize that because all through my whole 20s, 29? yeah, fool, all through my 20s, I was a fucking poser. I wanted to be comedian. I told everybody I wanted to be comedian. I supposedly I would get into nightclubs telling people I'm a comedian. I would pick up on chicks telling them I was a comedian when I've never been on stage ever for like I was living this stupid dream in my head. But since high school and high school is when I click like this is what I want to do. Fool, but I don't know how. I don't know where to start. I live. I'm from here, from Huntington Park. Nunca, you, you, I would like to do this. I don't know how to do this. Where do you even begin? All I know is that you have to go to Hollywood, and I don't know the first thing about Hollywood. I where is anything. that? I don't know anything about Hollywood, fool. He's literally uh, ten minutes away. Yeah, like Hollywood. exactly, fool. And so I realized basically, so this whole time, so my, so I would tell my my wife, hey, dude, I really want to try this. She's like, yeah, but do it, <laughs> fucking do it already, <laughs> dog. See, <laughs> wait. And my friends, Marcos, that's how it was. Don't touch me. Right. Marcos, Marcos, Osorio. Osorio yeah. Yeah. Cesar Cadena, Trenel Weaver, uh, like four or five friends that were close with me at the time. 
Eric Torres, uh, Albert Carrizales, these guys would always tell me. Bernie. Uh, Fernie uh, was not around that when she was married and shit. But uh, at the time, all these guys were single. All these guys I just named were single, and they were always like, "Fool, do it, they fucking do it, they do it." Dick. And Marco Osorio signed me dick. up. Marco Osorio, back in fucking t- 2009. Hey, dude, there's this comedy club called no- Ha Ha in North Hollywood. You should go check it out. They do amateur night there. He's the one that would push me to do it. Caesar Cadena. Hey, dude, my homie owns a bar in Linwood. Come do comedy there, fool. Like, you should try it there, fool. Like, I'm like, yeah, so all these people, cool fool. That? Yeah, so my wife's like, okay, good. The, my wife's like, get it out of your system. My wife thought I was going to go, eat a get dick, there, mm. and get the fuck out. That's what, I, that's what she thought. <laughs> why are you, why are but, you, you don't want to eat? Why are you fool? Because I ate a dick today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. But within oh. six months, I was hooked. And there was no, that's it. I was hooked, fool. And mm. I told her, that's it. This is what I want. I want to keep trying. I'll keep trying. And, uh, you know. Yeah, it's just, uh, I, then two years, she stuck with me for two years. It got really rocky. I was out a lot. There was a lot of that, fool. A lot of what Christian's telling me, fool. Day job to Mike's. Day jobs to Mike's every fucking day. And my kids were two and three years old at the time, fool. They were one and two and two and three. We broke up when they were four and five. And, dog, it That's was tough, fool. Have, yeah, and it was just fights every day, arguing every mm-hmm. day. And la mañana se despertaba enojada, güey. She used to go to sleep mad. I can understand. Bro, that. it yeah, was so uh, cool, but, yeah. but I was I, I had a new love, fool. And I I had yeah. this love. Mm. And then I started getting the laughs and people putting up your head. Yo, this was dope. This was I started winning contests. You know, I, I won the haha contest. I won fucking this contest, that contest, amateur night contest. And then people were like, dude, then you meet Jeff Garcia, you meet all these other comedians, Steve Trevino. Uh, all these fools are doing big things. Willie Barsena, all these guys are doing big things. Telling you, hey, man, this guy's pretty good. This guy's fucking good. This guy's good. That's all I was hearing for my first year, year and a half. Kind of what we're telling Angel right now. You know, what everybody's telling Angel Hernandez right now. Hey, this guy's good. This guy's good. This guy's good. That's what I was hearing, fool. First year and a half, my head was getting a little blown up. I was getting confident, and I knew this is what I wanted to do, fool. And I had seven minutes of killer, seven minutes of killer shit. Don't ask me to do eight because I don't have it. I had seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just kidding yeah. everywhere with those seven minutes. Shout man. out to Angel too, though. Yeah, he was putting in a lot of work. He's inspiring <laughs> me. Like, fuck, I need to keep up with this kid. Yeah. So that, that, yeah. What are you but, doing? Jerry, I'm going like, back. <laughs> if you can change anything, I will take care of my wife better, fool. <laughs> I'll that was take my, care of my wife. That was my better. biggest regret, fool. Yeah. Well, you were young, my, fool. I was young. I was like two. I was young. early thirties, wilding out. Like I, I would, everything I just explained to you guys about my head being swollen, living it up, uh, drinking every night, being the bottom head. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Drinking every night, partying every night, getting attention every night, girls around you. Yes, of course, fool. And then coming home to attitude all the time. Bro, of course, dog. But it, me as a grown as a 42-year-old man right now, if I could change things, yes, of course. I will take care of home, fool. I will take care yeah. of home. That's why her and I are still cool because I don't want mistakes. I know what I did. I'm not, I'm I'm just I'm not this guy who thinks I'm better than I, I dog, fool. I, I know I fuck shit up, you know. Um, yeah, I, I would have for sure. Take, that's why I worry about. Right? Please note that. Eight minute 28. Yeah. 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 Uh, nah, this guy, I worry about that fool because obviously he has a great wife, a great person, a great life, mm. a great family. So you have to just figure out that sweet spot and that juggle. You have to juggle it just right. And the sacrifice is not with your family, it's not with your wife. The sacrifice is with your job, bro. You have to get your fucking job in order, fool. Do you have to figure out what you can afford, how much time you can afford to take off, and what your job? That's what I, I checked yeah. my job basically. After a while, I, checked, I knew I wasn't gonna be here forever, and I, I had to just like I love this job, I love Wolfcraft Rangers, everything they do for me, but I need to step it back and tone it down, taper it off because yeah. this is what I really want to do. Fool. Let me just work fucking two, three, four days. Yeah. See, wait, days. two, three days of, of the, uh, real work, and then the rest Chris, of fucking Christian's intervention, comedy food. Yeah. No. I, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, I feel the same way when I. The thing is that when I, uh, I see him, I see what, what like, uh, I see his stand-up and I see his potential, and I'm just like, I get, I get frustrated for him and I get a little mad because I'm just like, I was where you were at and I was the unsure, but I lived it, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be okay. Like I, I can, I can yeah, tell I know, you, I your stand-up you, yeah. will grow because you have the talent. So I see the talent in you, and I'm like, I know what you can become. Cause I've heard jokes of like the uh, the non trying jokes, like actual Christian, real mm. thought, clever jokes, and I'm like, yo, you can become very great. It's just that you just 
are in this like weird, like you don't you don't want to take that first step. Enough, yeah. So it's like watching. It's like it's like when you jump off the fucking the, the diving board and your friend doesn't want to do it. You're like, dude, it's okay. I did it. It's scary. But when I jumped off, well, I survived. I, it get, it's going to feel weird. And you're letting yeah. them know what you're going to feel. It feels like you're drowning. It feels like you're not going to go up. But then you're going to float up and you're going to make it to the top. You're going to breathe. You're going to do it. No, I don't know. I just still don't want to take that that jump. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm watching you. So st- I'm watching you standing there. So that's why I'm just trying to fucking just kick you and be like, just do it. Motherfucker, just do it. And you, by the time you do it, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, it was scary at first. But no, dude, I got it. And I had to learn. And I and I got yeah, to I'm it. I'm so you're used to this do, life. Be fine. Oh, just like safety net. Yeah. yeah, and I've been at that job for 20 years, bro. Yeah, I know. And yeah. like, just the yeah, 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 it's scary to like even like I don't know why yeah. why, why I'm being such a bitch about like just in period. Why would I stay at the same job that long? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is that the men nosotros like no por nada, but like we we get these opportunities and we're like, and the thing about people don't know about us, which is rare, about this relationship that me and this will have is just that like. Comics don't do this. Don't have this type of relationship. You see them in the same special. You see them do one thing. He does an HBO thing, and then I'm on HBO because we help each other out. Because the producers say, "Oh, you guys did great," and then he goes, "You know who's next? This mm-hmm. kid right here." When I get something, yeah, you know who you should book? This guy right here, or anything. We just help Vice each versa. other out. For well, every ask, every every promoter yeah. wants us on the same show always. Yeah. Until we got, tell them our price, and they're like, oh, we can only afford yeah, yeah. one of you guys. Well, now it's getting to that point yeah. where it's like, oh, but yeah. that price has got to be just, yeah. you got to be, be one. And we, yeah. Not. But but the point is, is that, like, they get surprised when they're like, oh, we're going to have you. Is there, we want to get this guy, Jerry. I'm like, full done. I call him. Well, you guys know each other. So we get, it's easy for us to be on shows together because a lot of comics can't because they have egos. We fucking help each other out. So we get these opportunities, and we want to, and we are saying, we want to say Christian, but it's like yeah, I'm not all in to do it. Like, like, and it's, that's that's the scary part when it's like it's frustrating because you're like, bro, we want to pull yeah. you, but it's like you're you're at this like, oh, I don't know yet. It's like motherfucker, like you don't have no idea, like we can get a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah, I know. It's but frustrating. Start off by, I mean, try not to. Uh, not start off. That's in the wrong way, babe. Try not to say no to any gig. Fool. That's another muscle you have to fucking figure out. You can't say no to any gig, and that was my thing, the thing for a while. Is too, yeah, my thing was like, I'm not saying no, no to, to guys, nothing. But I don't say no to nothing else. Don't but say yeah, no to nothing. I fool. need to stop even saying no to you guys and figure out. I don't way. want to throw and it out there, but I, but I gave you a weekend in, in May. And you said you can't do it. I'm like, I, 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 Christian. I had, I have, I, Christian. I have these three dates. It was back to back. And, and, yeah, I, and yeah, I have, yeah. and I have these three <laughs> dates, and I'm just like, oh, I want to like. That they tell me you'll bring your feature and they're gonna yeah. pay and I want it, but then it's like I know he's gonna say no. You so still got like, talent. Now I gotta go look yeah. for somebody. That's what happened with El Paso. Like, oh. I thought he was gonna say no about El Paso, and he surprised the shit of me. He said yes. I go, oh shit, all right, cool, fuck it. Yeah. But I, 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 we, I'm, I know I always will throw the shit at you always. No, and, yeah. no and, well, and, I've said no to like Jesus could do that, like three then times already. More so busy, I'm like, fool. fuck, yeah, yeah, fucking. Like I shouldn't be turning down shit and I and yeah, turning down shit is going backwards for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's going right. backwards. Because the next time, yeah. because you're literally turning down an opportunity. It could be a, it's, yeah, I know it's a bar show, it's bullshit. It's a bar show. But fuck it, dog. It's better than no opportunity. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Fucking trust yeah. me. By the way, fucking Cinco de Mayo had a bar show. God damn, dude. It was a bar show. Yeah, full Cinco de Mayo. I show up and I'm like, fool. They had a. They were like, oh, there's the stages right there, and it was stools that they connected together. And I'm like, fool. If you get you step on the corner wrong, you're gonna fall and break your fucking ass. Nobody wanted to step on the thing. Yo, see him, and I'm like, oh fuck, like I'm gonna fucking fall, dude. And it was like people were just talking in the back. It's one of those that like, I had to drop my material and just like freestyle because they were not. They didn't give a fuck, fool. And it was this cougar that was in the back that was saying that she was down. Yeah, Ferrari. When I was off the show, she wanted to smash, fool. She kept grabbing me, and I'm like, dude, lady, in the back. It was just the jokes. Yeah, it was, it was not real jokes. life. Jesus Christ. I was like, catch me in an alley and I might have, but come on, not in front of fucking people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but you know, these parkings, they're out there. You gotta, you can't say no to them. You just gotta say yes. No, yeah, no, I've been saying yes to any, anybody that hits me up. <laughs> no, I have. You guys, anybody. it's, you gotta it's, be a it's whore easier for because shows. you guys will ask me for weekends and that's tough. But if you guys hit me up for a show tonight or anything, yeah. It's for I'm tough. There. And I haven't but said no to But weekends where anything. the money's at, fool. I know. I, I, I know, I know. I did, I just... I know. I just. No, no I've been doing the effort to to say yes to more stuff, and I have been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't but, know. Fool. Damn. You know, it's the thing about when you chase a dream and stuff like that. That's more risky because it's a gamble. That's one of my jokes right now. I was like, you know how like people will like quit their job and follow their dream. I didn't do that. 
yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that. Yeah, I've been there because I do that joke about how I work at a grocery store. Like, yeah, I haven't done that. My uh, dreams don't pay for child support. Um, yeah. No, sh- I mean, I get you, though. People will get it. People get it because you have kids mm-hmm. and you, like, worry and stuff. Right? But I don't know, man. You just... I think people who just have dreams that they have to go, it's a, it's a, it's a it is a gamble. Like, it's because I always thought that know. if I just do it long enough that it'll happen like the way I want it, but it's not because you still have to take that leap of faith. And I'm starting to realize that like it's either all in or nothing, and I need to make that choice because mm-hmm. I can't keep doing this forever. And right. like it feels more like that than ever. Like I need to stop if I'm mm-hmm. not gonna do it mm-hmm. because I need to either cho- choose the career over here where I can move up and go up high, but I'm not gonna be happy, but I'll be cool, or take this risk and. What, what's gonna happen? At least I know I tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're not gonna. I'm gonna go, do it. You're not gonna go homeless. You're not gonna. Start no, I know. Today. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The girl makes more money than you. You're okay, <laughs> fool. Like you're, you're okay, you're dog. Okay. Yeah. That's where I got lucky with my baby's mama. They don't ask much from me. All they ask is for me to spend time with the kids, which I'm more than happy to do. Like they don't ask me for like they're not hitting me up for money. Hey, I need fucking five hundred bucks. I need three hundred bucks. That's crystal. Like, they don't She's do shit. They don't do. They don't either. do shit like that, fool. We're on the same page when it comes to that. Like. Mm-hmm. Yo, I pay what I got to pay. She pays what she got to pay. And that's it, fool. All this fucking bullshit is like... I mean, I got lucky with that, I'm saying. So I got to take advantage of that. That's why I don't, that's why I don't complain when I have my kids. Like, though, I could be worse, fool. I could have my kids and pay paying fucking yeah. thousands of dollars. I got super lucky, too. And I'm not taking advantage of someone like Crystal that is cool with, like, mm-hmm. me going. It's just, like, the job, I guess. But God damn it. Yeah, you're not going to go fucking... I don't know what you're worrying about. You guys got extra room anyways. Yeah, yes, we do. dude. Extra yeah, rooms do. for sure. Yeah, we'll get to that. Well, but yeah. I mean, if there's anyone yeah, out this there, ep- this episode is gonna be called the intervention. Yeah, that's what I said a bunch of times. <laughs> the Christian circle goes because this is the thing, guys. All right, I know what you guys want, and I'm gonna give it to you in fucking Patreon. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some a dirty story. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna give you some savage stuff. All right, some funniness. This wasn't all about funny all the time. You guys are see are watching our lives in real time. Okay. Just like you're seeing a guy's career being built in real time over here. Where you guys wonder like, oh, what does it take for a comedian to take? You're watching it. You're seeing it. You're seeing a guy who has to take a choice, a leap of faith. And a lot of times you guys have to do that in your lives, right? So this is all real. Real shit, real life. And, um, well, that being said, that is the episode for this week. Peace out. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace out. (laughs) <laughs> it's gonna happen hopefully Never the next did. time you see christian he is jobless <laughs> yeah i know we see him he's just like hey fool well, i didn't say quit your job yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand, I yeah. Showed <laughs> that guy yeah 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 yeah, oh, shit. yeah we want i want to do a poll dude how many of you guys say for christian to quit his job quit his job yeah or, or we do a poll like vote either christian quits his quits his job Oh, how do we do it, Jerry? Or quits comedy. No, it's a, it's quits a, comedy. Oh, no, yeah. It's a, yeah, don't quit, quit your day your, job. It's either quit his job or don't quit your day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit your job or don't quit your day job. Put a fucking poll. You guys ready, you ready for to see the poll? Mm-hmm. And what if what if everybody says quit your job? You ain't got somebody going to have to quit your job. I want to quit my job. <laughs> no. It doesn't mean I won't work. But no, show show some love, reason. guys. Show some love in the comments and also let's do a fucking poll. Let them know that we're here. And you guys I think are, I do need to find a job where I don't give them. a fuck. Where I'm just like, hey, I'm not, I can't show up today. Fuck you. Yeah, well, these people love you, dude. These people right. fucking love you, and that's why you, you guys should hop on Patreon and help us out. And, and if make, you got a job out there that I could do and just show up when I yeah. want, then you know, I'm oh, yeah, a yeah. Manager. please, can, please, yeah. good boss. dude. You got, he's got a supermarket experience. If you got a carniceria, <laughs> like those toros, Guadalajara, maybe he's a if great, perfect guy to, for you to, right there. You know, man. guide a team. You know, yeah, make yeah. sure that they're showing up. You know. There you go. I got you, man. I could guide your team. See, I this can, is you why know, market if with you guys you. are listening and not on Patreon, get on Patreon and help him quit his job, people. If we Make get more Patreon happen. members, yeah, that helps as well. That helps yeah, as yeah, well, all right? Well, that is the Patreon. I mean, that is the episode for this week. Stick to, stay tuned for Patreon. That third camera will be nice, too. Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. Later. Hold on. Later.